do remember there was a time where this was a thing? Yes, I got this. I've always actually wanted this, but this is not a review video about this. I would like to do one, at least one day, but here's what I want to do. And today we are going to be reviewing Marvel's Spider-Man today. And let's go over some stuff. Here's the intro. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man is a great game. It's so goddamn addictive. Even when you finish the main campaign, there are still things that you need to do. Now, you play as Spider-Man, and in some areas you can go as Peter Parker. You can. Now, you've also got other people in here, like, for instance, you've got MJ and you've got Miles. The other two people you can play as, but those are mostly stealth missions they are. Um, now this is set years later it is when Peter is 23 also Aunt May is here um, they're working at a feast center now the story is large upon itself but if you can I'll say some things but I don't want to say too much so when you start out you are starting out quite actiony you are and you're about to take down William Frist do you Yes, you do, with a nice introduction to how the controls are. And also, if you pre-ordered the game, you're able to get some skins. In fact, I've got the Infinity War skin, and goddamn, it looks amazing. Um, skins like the Amazing Spider-Man stuff, or even Spider-Man himself. Uh, those type of skins from the films are not there, only stuff from Homecoming, and Avengers Infinity War, and Captain America Civil War. Now, this game takes, it's, it's about Peter still just into life, he's broken up with MJ, whilst later on in the game you do see her again, you do, and um, the main goal is that, the main enemy is, is that you've got a lot of enemies here, you've got the stable guys, including you've got the fucks, and then you've got the six big bad guys. You've got people like the Vulture, you've got people like Scorpion, you've got people like Dr. Octo, with which this person seems to be nice and supporting you throughout the game. But then eventually, as you're about to go up against all of them, including Lee, um, he turns your back on you, and now they're all the bad guys. So eventually, you do have to take them down. You do take them down in one of the epic boss battles. Many will say it's Drone Neric is the same thing. No, I think it's different. I will say though, I did have a couple of complaints. Like for instance, I do remember them being times where it would take me forever to complete or to beat one boss and it would glitch out sometimes and you have to come back and go back in. But look, what do I think of the game? I think this Spider-Man game is so good and I'm so excited for the DLC that's coming in October, November and December. I honestly cannot wait. I understand that many people were pissed off at the fact that a DLC trailer came out before the game came out. But look, I, I get why, because there's only a month away it is, and I'll have Black Cat in it. And yeah, Black Cat is also in this game also. Now, I did try to avoid spoilers, so that's why on all these games, I kept releasing parts and I kept playing long hours on it for me just to complete it, and I love it so much. Do I think it can compare to anything to Batman Arkham? Yes, but I do feel like they're both great as it is. This compares more to Batman Arkham Knight than anything else, because anything else that under that it is basically old as fuck. I give Spider-Man a 10 out of 10. It's so goddamn good. And uh, I bet Caddy's gonna have some complaints about this game when he reviews it. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm gonna swing out and Matt Stanley looks so good this game. Anyway, I'm gonna swing out and